Come on, let me go. Untie me. Not so fast. Tell me where the vegan meats are. I'm not, ah. I'm not talking. I'm not telling you anything. Talk! That wasn't vegan meat, was it? Nah. Ugh. This bad boy made out 100% meat. Look at it. Look at it. Come on, let me go. Nah. I'm gonna let Murph deal with you. Who's Murph? The crone. What is going on guys, Aaron here. Welcome to the video. So as you saw in the title today, I will be attempting a Murph challenge, which is a CrossFit competition consisting of a one mile run, 100 pull-ups, 200 push-ups, 300 air squats, and another mile run. But before we get into any of that, I am starving. So let's grab something to eat. We're making some French toast and I'm, I will show you guys a four ingredient recipe. So simple, so easy. Your newborn infant could do this. It is that easy. So without further ado, let's get cooking. So for this recipe, for this four ingredient recipe, it is half a cup of milled flax seeds, one cup of your milked nut of choice, mine is of the macadamia variety, half a teaspoon or one teaspoon vanilla extract, and one tablespoon of monk fruit sweetener or your other favorite sweetener. And optional is some cinnamon. Oh, 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 no, that ripped. Oh, well. Breakfast is served. And this is a heaping plate of French toast. Like, this has some weight to it. About as heavy as a dumbbell. So I'm gonna eat this quickly, let this digest, and then get into the workout. This is so good. This has been my go-to lately for breakfast, French toast. Never really had it. I'm more of a pancake or waffle kind of guy. How about you guys? French toast, pancakes, or waffles? Let me know down in the comments. Like, I was always just like a regular toast kind of guy. Not really a French. Breakfast is down. I'm gonna go let this digest for a little bit because I am absolutely stuffed. I do not need to go running around and having it yak back up and haunt me, but yeah, I'll see you in a little bit. So 
So one thing I forgot to mention, the Murph challenge also has you wearing a 20 pound vest, but unfortunately I could not find mine. I stripped the house down everywhere and I could not find it. So unfortunately I will not be doing this with, with a 20 pound vest. Aaron, it's the big day. How you feel about this, this Murph challenge? Honestly, I have no idea what to expect. I never did anything like this. I've, if you saw my Instagram, I do crazy workouts, but I've never done anything this crazy. So we are really testing the limits today. I don't know, again, I don't know what to expect. The world record holder and the world record time for the Murph challenge is 34 minutes, 13 seconds by a guy named Hunter McClintry, McClintry. McClintry, I don't know. Hunter, if you're watching this, I'm sorry if I'm butchering your last name. So 34 minutes, 13 seconds. Do I think I will beat that? No. Do I think I'll come close to it? No. But today is not about time, it's about completing it. All right, here we are. This is the first mile that we have to do for this Murph challenge. Let's get started. Three, two, one, go. Man, look at that guy. Oh. It's a half a mile. Let's go. Let's go. Aaron, how are you feeling so far? Well, first mile down, I feel pretty good. I'm not too worried about the running. I'm worried about the pull-ups, push-ups, and squats. I feel like that is really just gonna bend me over, but you know, we'll wait and see. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, now comes the fun part. 100 pull-ups, 200 push-ups, 300 squats. I think my strategy for this is do 50 small rounds of two pull-ups, four push-ups, six pull-ups. Let's get into it. No, it's, it's the song. This is an awesome song, guys. The ad. <laughs> Keep trucking away. Oh. 
Come on, are you got? Stop my tail. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Right about now, you're going five miles per hour. That's pretty good. How you feeling? Tired. Very tired. Where's the car? Oh shit, there is a car? Damn. Ladies and gentlemen, we are done. The Murph workout is complete. I'm gonna get a shower. I'll see you at lunch. Action! <laughs> so now that I'm out of the shower, it is time to eat. We're making Buddha bowls, and I'm so hungry I can't even think right now. That workout had me blasted in more areas than one. So let's get started. Always, you can't forget the pineapple to help, you know. <laughs> So final time of the Murph challenge was 42 minutes, 33 seconds. Now, obviously I didn't have a weighted vest on, but I'd say that's pretty good. If I would have had the vest on, I probably would have added maybe 20, 20, extra 20, 25 minutes. So I'm gonna eat this and I'll see you at dinner. Oh, and for the seasonings I put on the beans, it's salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and shoot, what else did I put on? Dark chili powder. Just everything in this bowl just receives and accepts one another. Like all the flavors just combine and work together. 
that pineapple, that's the kicker of this bowl. Pineapple makes anything and everything. Changed my mind. Ooh, you know what would be good on this? Hmm. Honey. But you can't have honey, I forgot. Do you want honey? Nah, that's fine. Are you positive? What? Are you positive? Yeah, I'm positive. Are you HIV positive? That, I don't know. That's a high level of positivity. AIDS. Hmm? Whoa, what is it? Sheesh! Finish it already? Round two, baby. Oh, round two. Wait, where are the spoons? And fun little fact, if you want green onions for life, buy them and just sip them in water. They keep growing as soon as you cut them. But mine are looking exceptionally dry. I don't know why. Must have. I'm sorry, are you rapping? What? Are you rapping right now? Oh, was I rhyming right now? Are you trying now? to have a rap battle? Um, ma'am, this is a Wendy's. Oh, oh. <laughs> what? The beans really set up base. Set the standard. Mm -hmm. They really set the time. They did. They really did. You're like, this is what's going on in this bowl. Open your mouth and take it. Hummus. Zero out of ten. How was your bowl? I liked it. I did like it. I mostly like the beans. I think it's because I'm Spanish. I enjoyed these beans. Mm -hmm. But are you getting a second bowl? No. Not you sure? Stuffed. Hmm. That You're... stuffed me. That was pretty good. My whole mouth was just covered with like random tastes the whole time. It's a different stimulation for it your really mouth. It really is. It, actually, it was really like good. Your mouth just don't, doesn't know what to expect. It's just so overwhelmed. I mean, it was kind of random when you just threw beans and pineapple at me at the same time. That is lunch. I'd give it a 9 out of 10. That was pretty good. Um, just going to do a bit of work, and I'll see you guys at dinner. Action. All right, y'all, it's dinner time. So tonight we're having grilled tempeh, grilled zucchini, and I'm gonna see what will happen if I throw a banana, peel on straight on the grill. We're saw it, so we're gonna give it a try. A little squirt of olive oil. Salt and pepper. The basic bitch of spices. Onion powder. And garlic powder. All right, here goes the banana. I am excited for that. We might just have a masterpiece in the making. Skinny is almost done. Hey kid, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Dinner is served and boy am I hungry. I topped this off with some homemade ranch. Recipe will be in the description below. And I'm hungry. I'm gonna get diving in here. Actually, I don't know if this is a good idea to eat. Stuff from the trees, yeah. Stuff from the trees keeps falling down <laughs> into my food. All right, I had to relocate. But overall, I thought it was a solid day. Food was good. Honestly, I thought the workout would be a lot worse than what it was, probably because I didn't have the vest on, but it was still pretty brutal.
really tested my limits. That tempeh and ranch combo. Taking my taste buds for a ride. I love how we're surrounded with neighbors and they look out the window and all they see is just two kids sitting in their patio. One's filming, the other while they're <laughs> eating. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's pretty normal. I've seen worse. You've seen worse? Am I getting a napping? Oh, yeah. Thank you, darling. <laughs> Dinner is down and finished. But Aaron, what about the banana? Don't worry, guys. I didn't forget about that. That's finishing up on the grill right now. Oh, oh. <laughs> I think I might have rabies. Peel this bad boy so you'll see what we're dealing with. Ow. She do be hot. I feel like it's just gonna taste like a hot and mushy banana. Yeah, it just tastes like a hot banana. I thought it would more have I thought it would have more of like a charcoaly smoky grill taste to it, but I guess not. So I'm gonna finish this banana and I'm probably gonna wrap it up here. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one.